Hello once again, and uh, greetings from uh, uh, lovely warm Japan. We hit, I think we hit 24, 25 degrees today, which for um, well, it's the 30th of March is very pleasant. So yeah, anyway, it's definitely the end of winter and enjoying some very pleasant weather, thankfully. Today we have uh, another Toyota. It's a Velfire, a 2013 May. Uh, a Velfire, it's the VL, so it's the top of the range hybrid. It's the uh, ATH20, and uh, yeah, it's not four wheel drive, it's two wheel drive, I believe. Oh, I forget, I think so. Yeah. And um, it's got all the usual stuff, plus. Some very nice options. It's got the uh, radar cruise and lane lane keeping functions and rear entertainment, etc., which uh, they don't all have. So it's got lots of nice things. Uh, I think it's sixty-one thousand miles, ninety-eight thousand kilometers. It was a grade four point five, so it's very clean. Just a lovely example. If you're looking for a hybrid people carrier uh, full it's got full beige leather this is uh, beige leather uh, uh, in this one the VL they're all beige so let's take a look it's got the HID AFS lights all-round parking sensors of course front fog lights got the standard uh, alloys factory alloys with good radial tires let's see it's the hybrid hybrid system so all oh this one also has yeah it has all round cameras which is there again it's uh, an option that's not on all of them so it's fully spec and, uh, and here we go so and with comes with two smart keys and uh, let's take a look at uh, we have to unlock it first and then we can open the, the rear gate is uh, remote and the sliding doors of course are remote and all these um, people carrier hybrids are four-wheel drive I mean and the 20 series ATH 20 series all four-wheel drive and let's say full beige leather which is very nice. The third headrest is in here, in the usual place. Just a very clean interior. Push this button and uh, the gate will close. This is the Velfire version. You've got the Alphard version and the Velfire version. In Japan, the Alphard version is the more popular about 60 percent 65 percent of them are uh, alphards and about a third of them are velfire okay 2013 june 60,000 miles and a proper grade 4.5 it's the highest grade you get for a car this age okay the uh, hybrids as I mentioned many times hybrids are incredibly common here Il full electric cars have not taken off in Japan pretty much at all I mean you see a Tesla you'll see a Tesla once in a while whereas in the UK you see them all over the place uh, I, I agree I, I think it's uh, a little premature I can see why you do it but I think it's a little premature to go full hog into these massive battery powered cars. I think there has to be a solution, but I think we need to uh, wait a while. We shall see. Right, let's have a look in the back. So it's got the, um, the aircraft type seats in the back we we put these on they they don't on this 
uh, on this model, for some reason, they don't put these handles on. These handles allow you to move the seats oops, sideways and thus um, give you more options of the positioning of the back uh, middle seats here. So we put them on. I don't know why they don't. Anyway, not a problem. You can see the carpets are unmarked. And here we have the rear entertainment and it's got the premium sound system, six speakers in the in the roof in the headlining, twin sunroofs. These are a little cup holders. And here the, the the, uh, these are power-seated seats. Okay. And anyway, please peruse. I'm going to have to put the camera down a second. Please peruse the uh, the Dropbox file with uh, I don't know, 60 yard photographs of the car, so you can get a detailed view of every angle of the car, including, of course numerous uh, photographs of the underneath to show how clean that is. Okay, let's close the doors. Oops, wrong key. Here we go. Anyway, you'll be very happy with the interior. Just very, very, very clean. And of course the car is keyless entry. Just push, oh, it's already unlocked anyway. I think I just locked it. And a keyless push start. And here you've got uh, memory position uh, driver's seat. You can see the condition of the driver mat. Just very nice. And the seat. The front seat's also power assisted, as are the middle seats. And uh, over here you've got controls for the round view cameras and these are the controls for the auto folding mirrors and different things here. This is a, um, what do you call this, um, air ventilation system, um, purification system, sorry. And this one also has the really nice option of speed adaptive radar cruise control and lane keeping assist. Not too many of them have that actually. It wasn't very common 10 years ago on Japanese cars. It's more common today. And also you've got audio controls as well on this side. And Bluetooth controls here. So let's just get the, the lights on. Okay, you can see there, and we will just start up. I don't know this, how well the battery's charged, whether it'll run. Okay, you can see all the warning lights go off. The battery is, the engine probably will be yeah. Engine just kicked in, so, but it is, it has full EV mode here, echo mode. Heated front seats. And here you've got a USB charging point as well as a 100 volt. This is not very useful for you, but anyway, whatever. And positively non smoker car. Four cup holders here. Here you've got, got all the manuals as well. A little drawer here, kind of useful. Super clean dash. Okay. And up here you've got controls for the sunroof and the power doors. And you've got all around cameras, so you've got a reverse camera. And as you can see, you've got <coughs> excuse me. You got an um, overhead view of uh, I find that really useful for Making you know, position yourself in within the lines of a car park, and then you've got other views as well. You've got frontal views, as what else you got? Yeah, what is that? That's the front.
from view. <laughs> Whatever. So you've got cam cameras on the front and the side and the rear. And there's your flip down rear entertainment. And here you've also got controls here. Wait a Take that out. And then you've got here controls here for the positioning the um, front passenger seat, which is useful for the driver. You don't have to lean over and try and reach the controls on the side, which you actually you can't reach those. Um, automatic lights, automatic wipers. Um, yeah, auto dipping mirrors, and uh, does this one come with a drive recorder? Maybe it did. I don't know. Maybe they want to take it out. But the interior is just very nice. This is very very nice. Whoever had this genuinely took very nice care of it. Sometimes you get. You get wear here on the face here. Here, this one's absolutely perfect. Yeah, whoever, as I say, whoever owned this car previously took great care of it. Right, and let's just turn the engine off and take a look at the another little convenient box here. We've also installed an illuminated. Uh, Rear fog switch, but we haven't installed the rear fog, so you'll need to get your your MOT guy to do that. And then see here the front camera. See how nice the chrome is. Okay, the hybrid system. Very nice clean engine bay and the underneath is the same, it's very clean. Okay, as is this area. You do look at the, uh, the numerous photographs. And here's the auction sheet. So this is a Kanto area, Tokyo area car. And it was a grade 4.5 BCC. Yeah, auctions, um, leather interior cars, they are. They, it's very hard to get a B with a leather interior. I don't know why. It's this one. The leather is lovely. And as you can see from the, the a little, it has a little U2 on this panel. I think that was a tiny, tiny um, a dent that I uh, don't, guy took out and uh, he said 25 so that's 2013 May 89,800 kilometers so that's I think it's 91 or 92,000 kilometers no 60 62,000 kilometers and the VL edition oh yeah so it is of course it's four drive yes yeah, a hybrid yeah, I just had a couple of beers. I don't want to forgive me. I've got a friend here from the UK, so we were uh, kind of reminiscing and uh, drinking beer. So, yeah. Forgive me for uh, thinking otherwise. So, there we have it. A 2013 May hybrid velfire and just very very nice so if you're looking for a people carrier and you want hybrid you want four wheel drive this might be the one so i can guarantee you'll be very satisfied with the quality and the condition of the car so please do speak to paul at japan auto agents and uh, he can guide you through the process of purchasing it and we can uh, ship it. Uh, we're shipping now into Bristol, Southampton, Felixstowe, and London Gateway or um, Newcastle. Anyway, do, do talk to Paul and uh, he can uh, assist you 
uh, with the purchase of it. Thanks so much for watching. And uh, it is an East, it is Easter weekend, isn't it? Yeah. Japan, not so. Obviously, Easter is not a something they uh, celebrate. But anyway, again, thank you for watching, and bye for now. We are a UK-based personal car import agent trading since 2004. We have a proven track record supplying thousands of Japanese cars direct from Japan to customers throughout the UK. Working as your appointed agent for a fixed commission, we provide a four-step personal car import service. This is an opportunity to cherry pick and safely buy the best high-grade, low mileage cars direct from Japanese car auctions at export trade prices for personal import to the UK. You will make large savings on UK retail prices while buying the best quality cars available in Japan. It's a genuine win-win opportunity. Before the auction starts, background checks and hands-on inspection are carried out by the Japanese staff. Under Japanese law, any accident history or mileage discrepancy must be declared by the auction and shown on the auction report. The truth is the best cars normally stay in Japan. They are bought by Japanese dealers for resale because the best cars will pass a strict Japanese roadworthy test, known as a shaken. Shaken failures are seen in Japan as fit for recycle or export. Many turn up in the UK without the auction port to maximize the dealer's profit margins. So it's vital to see a genuine translation of the auction report before the sale starts. Once we have found a particular car, we next arrange our hands-on inspection to confirm the condition matches the auction report and take a large number of photos. Keep in mind we are not car dealers buying and selling for profit. Why supply bad cars? when it's just as easy to supply a great car from the fountain of supply and simply keep adding to our long-established superb track record. Check out our customer reviews or head to our YouTube channel found on our website to see the quality of the cars we supply. To learn more, pick up the phone and speak to us direct without obligation. Ask for Paul. Telephone 01625 560 or on mobile 07989 560 Our email, sales at japautoagent.com.